Hey everyone, my name is Renee and today I'm going to be sharing with you my experience from going from 2 gauge to 0 gauge. Um, okay, so if you are going to a 0 gauge or you're already looking into it, because I had been looking into going to a 0 gauge since I was at like an 8, um, you may or may not have learned by now that going to a 0 gauge is a really big stretch. Um, because most of the stretches are one millimeter, I believe if I'm, I believe I'm saying this right, but most stretches are up to one millimeter, um, between, and this one is two or like one and a half or something like that, so it's like a huge drastic change as compared to what your ears are used to stretching at one time. Alrighty, so there are three methods to stretching, of course, there's one that's using a taper, which is what a lot of people do with the smaller sizes. Um, there is dead stretching, which I mean, if you know what dead stretching is, it's it's not exactly a bad thing. Um, and uh, another kind of method is taping. There might be other methods, like, um, the weight, but since you're at a smaller size, it's kind of more, it's kind of difficult to do that. So, yeah. Alrighty. So, um, I was thinking about using a taper, but I'm kind of short on money because a lot of my stretching supplies were um, supplied by my friend so I was kinda like you know I couldn't just go to the mall and just pick up some because I don't really again have money so this what I did was um, pretty cheap and it worked pretty well so yeah um, and this is my experience it may or may not be right it, or wrong um, but it worked for me <sighs> so yeah alrighty so I stretched up to a 2, and I was at a 2 for about 3 or 4 weeks, and I probably should have waited longer, but the patience, the impatience gets to me after about the first week or so, and after about 2 weeks, I was already looking into stretching up to a 0 gauge, and I spent about 2 weeks just back and forth on what I should do, and then I stretched. So, yeah, alright. So I was at 2 gauge for about 2 weeks. And then, um, I, like I said, I was in a garden by a taper, but I was trying to save money for, um, because we're having the Secret Santa thing in my l lunch group. So I'm trying my best to save for that, even though I ended up spending all my money anyways on, uh, tunnels. But, whatever. So yeah, alright, so I was looking for a cheaper method, and I would have done dead stretching, but I don't think that works with the zero, because it's just too much. Okay, hold on, pause. Dead stretching can be considered bad, but it's usually a pretty smart method if you do it right. Basically, all that dead stretching is, is um, you wait for your ear to naturally stretch because as the bigger the sizes that you go, the more elasticity that your ear has. So, um, like say you had a pretty heavy set, well not like too heavy, but you had a pretty heavy set of plugs in your ears at a 2 gauge. And um, you know, after months, actually months and months and months, um, it will stretch out enough to the point where you could possibly get a 0 gauge plug through. But um, I don't think that works, again, from 2 to 0. I think it would work maybe at the bigger sizes more um, efficiently. But yeah, so... And I don't have really, I don't really have patience to do dead stretching. It was amazing that I almost lasted a month in two gauge, um, so I wouldn't have been able to do that. So I, I like crossed that off the list. That was not even in the question. Um, and then I thought about tapering, of course, and I was like, no, that no, it's just too much money. And then this is when I finally considered the taping method. I've known about the taping method probably since ten gauge. Um, and I really wanted to use it going from 8 to 6 because that was a horrible stretch for me. Horrible, horrible stretch. Um, but I didn't really have the supplies for the taping method. And um, I decided one day, you know, I was like, I should probably start supplying myself because if I want to get up to 7 sixteenths um, plugs and tunnels and stuff, it's probably going to get slightly more expensive. So, I mean, if I want to have money, I should just invest now might as well. So I did. Um, what you'll need, if you're going to be an idiot like me and do it my way because my way worked for me, 
is you'll need a pair of these, which is just scissors, um, clean, sterilize them with Germex, wash them, alcohol, whatever you need to do to sterilize them and make sure that you do it thoroughly. Um, you'll need some of this, which is a roll of, of Teflon tape, and I'll go ahead and show you, um, yeah, alright, this tape does uh, stick to itself more or less, so it's kind of messy to handle, but you could use Teflon and bondage, I've heard electricity or electrical tape has worked for some people, I didn't even want to go there, because that just sounds scary, it's electrical tape, why would you put something electrical in your ear, like, holy crap, that's scary. Um, and, you know, I didn't want to use bondage tape because um, when I order stuff, I asked my sister to order it for me and asking her to order bondage tape for me would have been really awkward. Even if I explained it to her, it just, it would have been an awkward situation. So I asked my mom to buy me Teflon tape and they're yay. There was two of them in the package. They're about probably like three or four dollars. I don't know because my mom bought them for me, but they're about three or four dollars at Walmart. Um, what can I say? It got me through my stretch, and that's all I'm thankful for. And you may or may not, well, you probably won't recognize this product, but Vaseline. I have it in a little Tupperware because me and my grandma share. Um, I use this for a lot of weird, different crap. I'm one of those people, but yep, just Vaseline. That's It's the name brand Vaseline. What more could you... Vaseline. Um, a lot of people say not to use Vaseline because it's petroleum jelly, and I don't really understand that concept. Um, I do understand how it could be hazardous, but I don't know the in-depth details, so I'm not going to bother sharing if I don't know my facts completely or even have an idea. But I just know that people, a lot of people don't recommend it, but I mean it worked for me. Um, so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take a single flare. Oh, I'd show you, but... My plugs are all the way over there, I don't feel like I am. Um, you're supposed to take a single flare plug, and then you just wrap it around, um, you wrap tape around, which I mean this gets really messy because it's just really flimsy, but you wrap around one to four times four if you really think that your ear is getting ready, like if your ear is ready, um, one if your ear is still really tight. Um, I did three the first time because when... I stretch my ears after about a couple days. I play with them a lot. I do this a lot in class, especially with this year. This year's stretch is like nothing. This one gives me a crap load of problems. That's because I write with my right. So, I mean, I'm writing and I'm just messing around with my plug. But I'll, like, twist it in my earlobe like that. I'll, um, I'll just play with it. So, it loosens up my earlobe. Um, so, both of my earlobes, like, I started doing this in the last week, too. So, it did stretch out a little bit. Um... But that's why I did three wraps, and it was pretty easy for me. Um, so yeah. And then, if you're going to do it the right way, the way that everybody suggests, um, you know, if you don't want to use Vaseline, you use, I think it was MU oil, or there's, there's like two oils. There's two oils that's really suggested to use that you only use those. Um, you go ahead and you massage your ear in that, without the jewelry, of course. You massage your ear in that, and then you put a little bit around the tape, and then you just slip it in, and if it doesn't slip in easily, you have to take off the wrap, or you have to wait longer, or something. But it should slip in pretty easily without, like, any difficulty. So, yeah. Um, however, I did the exact same process, but with Vaseline. So, I mean, yeah. Alrighty. So, um, most people say that it takes about 25 wraps to get to, um, from a 2-gauge to a 0-gauge. It took me only 10 for the most part. I think if I had gone 15, I would have been completely there. But I was at 10. And, um, this was on a Saturday that I finally got to 10 wraps. 10, yeah, 10 wraps. And my sister had ordered me these tunnels, which are so cute. They have a little sparrow, which you can't really see. But I promise they're cute, they have little sparrows. And no, it's not Hunger Games. I keep getting that question. I'm just like, no, I'm not a Hunger Games person, gosh. Okay, anyways. Um, my sister ordered these for me on off of Amazon from steelnavel.com. Um, on, I think it was a Thursday or something. And, you know, she was like, okay, well, they'll be in Monday. So, yeah, and I was like, okay, well, I still have two days to finish stretching up. And my ears heal particularly fast. So if you're mad at me for getting up to 10 wraps in about a week... You can kiss my ass.
Okay, my ears heal up really, really fast. I take care of them. Anyways. Um, so, yeah, so I was, it was Saturday, and I was, um, I fiddle with them the same that I do with my plugs. I'll, I'll be watching TV, and my, like, my family will walk in. I'll just be like this. I'll just fumble with my earlobes. Um, and my grandma walked in, and I was like, okay, what does she want? Because she had her hands behind her back, so I'm like, she's hiding something from me. And I'd been telling her, I was like, I have a package coming um, from for Adrian, but it's actually from me, so just hand it to me when you're done. And Adrian's my sister's name. Um, and she basically showed it to me, she's like, ta-da! And I was like, oh, my tunnels are here. And I was like, they're here too early. So I probably did one of the stupidest things ever, but I mean, I, su I don't suggest you do this, but I mean, it's me. So I was like, I don't really, whatever, man. So I opened up the package, cleaned them, I got the... Because there's like the package that's used for the USPS, which is like a little baggy. I will show you that too, but it's over there and I don't feel like getting up. Alright, um, it's a little baggy and then it's lined with bubble wrap and then inside the baggy was the receipt. There was a little card, which was really cool and I wish I could show that too, but I lost that in my hectic room. Um, there was this really cute little business card and it had like all the life-size measurements for like eight, like 14 gauge up to like an inch an inch and a half. Um, it was just really cool. It's really cool. There was that, and then there was two separate little baggies, and in one there was one tunnel, and in the other there was another tunnel, um, and they were just clear plastic baggies, and basically if I opened them, I couldn't return them, so I was kind of just like, well, let's just hope that everything is okay. So I was like, all right, well, I'll clean them with alcohol, and then I'll go ahead and lube them up, and if they go into my ears, they go into my ears. If I don't, I keep taping, and then that's it. So, um, I did just that with both tunnels. I took out my plugs, my taped up plugs, I lubricated my ear, I lubricated the tunnel, and it popped in like nothing. Um, it was pretty much painless. This one was a little pissed off. It had slight pain, but it really didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. Um, it was just a little red after, but that only lasted for like 10-15 minutes at the most. It, after that it calmed down. Um, like I said, this ear gets really pissed at me really fast, so yeah. But look at them, they're healthy, and I might not really like the placement too much, but... Eesh. Whatever. I'm already this far along, I'm not gonna let them close just to re-pierce them and then re-stretch them. So, yeah. Alright, that's what I did, going from a 2 gauge to a 0 gauge. Um, yeah, if you have any comments or questions, it doesn't have to do with me being wrong, or um, my body modifying being wrong, or anything of the sort, you can go ahead and leave them below. Um, in the description, I'll have my usernames because I'm addicted to the internet, so you should go follow me, um, especially on my Instagram. I love Instagram, and my Instagram is great. It's not full of selfies, it's freaking fabulous. Um, I'll probably also have my Tumblr down there, but I haven't used Tumblr in a few months, so we'll see how that goes. So yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.